Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how you can download your data set from Google Drive to your local system. So what I mean to say, let me explain in detail. So suppose your data set is present over here at Google Drive and you want to use this data set to train your model at your local system or Suppose you are working on Google Colab, so you want to download this uh, data set over there. So that actually we are going to see, right? So suppose your data set present in form of uh, data.zip over here at your Google Drive and at your local system or your uh, on your Colab, you are using uh, a notebook where you want to write Python code which will perform this operation like uh, first it will download your data set so uh, now the data set will be present over here uh, like uh, data dot zip so we are going to write code for this later we want to unzip this folder also uh, we'll see that part of code and so now we'll be having this uh, unzip folder inside this unzip folder we will be having two subfolder like uh, train and uh, test and then we will try to create data generator data generator in tensorflow so eventually we want to train our model by using this uh, data set right so let's see uh, I have already uh, placed this chip file uh, in my Google Drive so it looks like this uh, this is the chip file and we want it to download over here by using Python code let's get uh, into the code so actually we, you required one library in order to download this zip file from Google Drive that is uh, pip install gdown so in my case I have already installed this library so it's showing already satisfied so first you have to download it okay so let's uh, import this library import gdown and probably we also required uh, zip file right so now we have uh, imported these two files so now let's go to this uh, uh, Google Drive folder actually you required permission to download this file over here so just go to this link uh, get link shared link uh, here you have to uh, give this permission that anyone can download this file by this link okay so once you do that copy this link and come here so actually we not required everything over here we just required this ID so just copy this ID and you can remove the other part okay uh, so what actually you have to do just keep these uh, ID over here and you have to write G down okay ID and then you have to give this ID over here right and then execute it mm, yeah so now it's uh, downloading this file now our file is downloaded successfully uh, you can see over here right so now we want to use it for our training purpose so first we need to unzip it right so let's do it so just create a reference variable use this library zip file inside zip file we have method zip file and here you have to provide the uh, zip file folder path 
So it's available over here. So just you need to pass the uh, folder name. It's pizza stick dot zip, right? And then just to do zip file dot extract all, right? And then you have to close this uh, zip file. Yes. So as you can see, this uh, subfolder is created over here. So let's see what's present inside this uh, inside this uh, pizza stick. So inside this uh, pizza stick, we have two subfolder. Now let's see what's present inside this. Uh, Pizza stick slash train, right? So inside train, we have to file pizza and sticks. So let's see what all images are present inside pizza. Yeah, so these are the images. So <coughs> Now we have successfully downloaded our zip file from Google Drive. We have already unzipped it and now we have this uh, folder, right? Inside this folder, we have train test uh, for subfolder and inside that we have again two subfolder, pizza and stick and these two subfolders having those images. So we are going to use this for training. So now let's create the uh, now let's create the data generator and uh, we will use this uh, data generator to feed images while training our model. So let's uh, first import the necessary libraries. Import flow. Okay, uh, we also required uh, MS data generator so just import it from uh, tensorflow dot keras dot uh, preprocessing dot image uh, import uh, image data generator okay now let's uh, uh, now let's uh, create uh, uh, okay so before uh, creating data generator so do some pre-processing so just get all of the pixels value between 0 to 1 which is also called uh, scaling or normalization so just do it train data gen equal to uh, just call image generator and here you can pass uh, re scale uh, re scale 1 divided by 255 because our image size is uh, 255 pixel and for validation set as well we can do the same so import image generator re scale eight one divided by two five five so here we have a re scale our data set so kind of we are doing normalization Okay. Now set up paths to our data directories, uh, which uh, we are gonna uh, use in next step. Okay. So train dir. Our training file exists at uh, pizza stick train test dir. 
test file present at is a stick test okay so now we have these directories uh, path over here then now you want to import data from directories and uh, turn it into batches so we have already created this image generator object so which uh, we are gonna use and we have this uh, directories so now you want to import data from these directories and turn it into batches so that data set we are going to use for training so let's write code for that train data equal to let's use the train data generator object dot flow from directories and here you have to pass few parameters so first it would be the directory okay here you have to pass the train directory train dir okay the next would be the batch size batch size so while training in single batch there would be 32 images third parameter would be target size right so we want it into 2 to 4 by 2 to 4 okay then uh, so here we have only two classes inside this uh, uh, data set one is pizza one is stick so here we have to mention class mode equal to uh, binary binary because we have only two classes right and then at the end probably put put seed equal to 42 yeah and same thing we can do for our validation set just change the variable name valid validation data so uh, so once you run it you will get uh, uh, you have okay it's showing here 1500 for validation it's because of this here we have passed train data directory but we have to pass test data directory over here right so yeah so in training for training we have 1500 images and for testing we have 500 images so in this video we have learned how we can download our data set from google drive then how you can unzip those zip file and later we have also created our image data generator which we are going to use for train our model so thank you for watching and see you in next video thanks